Utah County man is back from Idaho with an unforgettable story about one whale of a fish. <laughs> it's definitely one for the record books. His specialist Andrew Adams is live tonight with the fun story. What a great assignment tonight, Andrew. It really is, Ashley. How big was it? It was more than 10 feet long. To give you an idea, bring it in. Let's, let, let's show him this. So this is one of our live trucks. This is our mast up on top. How tall is that mast? Nine foot three. Nine foot three. If you put it end to end, it would be taller than the mast on top of that truck. Huge fish. It's, the guy says it's like something you would have pulled out of the ocean, and yet it came out of a reservoir in Idaho. Our family does a lot outdoors. In a home that's no stranger to prized catches. We're big bow hunters. We killed that elk a couple years ago with my bow. And One catch in particular is known for an extremely memorable tale. It was way more than we expected, so. Greg Polson says earlier this month, he and his wife took a fishing trip to Idaho. It's the Snake River, but just up a little ways, they've got it dammed off, so it's a CJ Strike Reservoir. They were on the hunt for sturgeon. We were expecting like five, six footers or something like that. When Greg found himself a handful. It just feels like you're reeling a refrigerator up off the bottom of the, of the river. As soon as we hooked it up and I started reeling it in, the sturgeon came up and it jumped out of the water and it was like something off Shark Week. It was huge. Like we were all just like, holy crap. And the guide started freaking out because he knew it was like a really big one. It was a really big one. Because it was 48 inches around and how long it is, they got a pretty good idea how much they weigh. And he said it'd be somewhere around 600 pounds. The fish was 10 feet, four inches long, easily topping the Idaho State sturgeon record. It was so big that Three people was holding the bottom jaw, uh, just on those three hands on the bottom jaw. So it was huge. The sturgeon had to be released after it was caught, meaning it will never adorn the walls of Polson's home. Usually I catch the littlest fish out of everybody, so I got really lucky this time. He's just grateful for an unforgettable tale. It was up there for sure. A real life fish tale that will be hard to top over time. This was by far the best fishing experience I've ever had, not even close. Well, Polson and his wife actually caught six fish on their trip. In addition to the new state record holder, they also caught two nine-footers, an eight-footer, and a seven-footer. Not bad, really. No, not what? bad at all. And you, usually, you know, Andrew, whenever there's a catch and release, you know, the fish is like this big, right? <laughs> I know you can't see me, but it's about this big. So, yeah, quite a story. Cool. Hey, thanks, Andrew. <laughs>